I used to do this and it works on some level, okay, but I think it's ineffective and inefficient overall, okay? The way that I do it, John Anthony in 2021, What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I couldn't help making a video in front of this nice map here. So, uh, this video is about group theory, okay? Mystery has one way of doing it, I have another way of doing it. I disagree with the method that he proposes, okay, in that case for how to deal with groups. Okay, so we're gonna get into explaining the differences between his way and my way, and why I think mine is better. Okay, before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. Press the notification bell for new uh, alerts about videos every day. Also, if you are interested in joining my eight-week mentorship program, click the link in the description for a free 30-minute call. So, okay, so group theory. Mystery instructs that you approach the whole group, you ignore the target, you ignore the girl that it is that you want to talk to, and you talk to the rest of the group, and then you throw playful negs at the girl, okay, that's that's the one that you actually want to talk to. Okay, so let's say that here's the girl I want to talk to. I'm speaking to the, her friends. And when this girl tries to come into the conversation, I say, wow, is your friend always uh, so needy like this? Or you're basically just throwing little backhanded compliments at this girl that you're interested in. And then the whole, the whole theory there is like, her value is supposed to be up here and yours is down here. And you're like demonstrating value to the group. And then you're throwing negs at her to lower hers down. And then at some point you say, oh, sorry, I've been kind of ignoring your friend. And then you turn and switch attention to the girl in the group that you're interested in. Okay. I used to do this and it works on some level. Okay. But I think it's ineffective and inefficient overall. Okay. The way that I do it, John Anthony in 2021, I approach the target straight away. Okay. The girl that I want to talk to, I introduce myself to that girl. I say, hey, I wanted to meet you real quick. I briefly address, like let's say I interrupted her talking to her friend or if she's part of the group, I briefly address them if they're involved in the conversation with her. If not, I just talk to her one-on-one -on -one, and then I try to isolate her away from the group within like two minutes, okay? So I say like, hey, I wanted to meet you real quick, blah, 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 drop some demonstrations of higher value. Then I say, hey, we should go over to the bar and grab a drink. Oh no, I can't, hey, my friends. It's cool, I'll bring you right back. Oh no, but my friends are here. Let's go there for like five minutes, to be right here. The friends looking in, paying attention. Hey, what's up, I'm John, nice to meet you. I'm just gonna take her to get a drink real quick. We'll be right back, all right, promise. All right, cool. Take her away to the bar. Now in the bar, that's where I start cranking up more sexualization in my verbals, more physicality. We try to get into a makeout, okay? And then, that's a, then I start suggesting that we go home together. Okay, I mentioned that earlier in the conversation to seed it, but then I'm, I'm really putting her to more of a serious thought about it, which surfaces objections. I have an objection list of the 14 major objections that come up in a nightclub, and I go over the optimal responses to each one. Or I have the optimal responses to each one memorized. So whichever objection she gives me, I just answer them there. And then if her logistics are favorable to be able to be pulled out of the venue that night, then I do take her home usually. If not, we frame a date for a later time. Okay, now, I think it's much better to just talk to the girl you want to directly. I think it seems too contrived to ignore that one. I mean, there is merits to hit to that approach. Um, namely, that, that that hot one, it's usually the hottest one, is used to getting all the attention. So when you talk to the friends, it like disarms them as cock blocks because you've shown interest in the, in the, the less attractive friends. And then when you go to talk to her, like now it looks like, okay, like you've been kind of throwing little insults at her and now you're gonna let her win you over. But it, it's all like contrived. The, the best frame to come from is that you're at 100 out of 100. You're a super high value guy. You're the best option for her. You're like um, gonna get this girl for sure. It's not a big deal. You get girls like this all the time. So I'm only just dealing with the friends in so much as making an introduction so that they're going to stay out of the way. Just showing them that I'm a, a normal, cool guy. Okay, if I come in and introduce myself to her, the friends come and grab her. Hey, we're lesbians. Hey, we, we promised we wouldn't talk to guys tonight. Hey, like, um, that's my friend, blah, blah, blah. Oh, what's up? I'm John, nice to meet you. Just being normal, smiling. Hey, what would a normal person do? That's what they would do. Hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. Cool, calm, collected, etc. even under pressure, right? And 
when when they come in and try to like rescue the friend, it's really just uh, that translates into most guys that talk to our hot friend are low value or not good enough, not cool enough, not high value enough. We assume that you're just like that too. Show us otherwise, okay? Because as Mystery says, these attractive girls can entertain an endless stream of nice guy approaches. Okay, ever since she was 16 or 17, she's been having uh, dudes show interest like this, and she can't uh, just forever keep, um, you know, just being friendly to, to each of these guys and, and have to deal with them each in conversation. So all that being said, um, it's just better, I think, in, in my, my view, okay, is just to take her away within like two minutes away from the group, then you have her one-on-one -on -one and you can still calibrate, okay, if she's being non-compliant, if, she, if she's giving you a hard time for this or that, or not going along with the program, so to speak, you can punish her in a way with, you know, both your verbals and your uh, facial expressions to get her back on board and moving things forward again, okay? The problem with, you know, dealing with the rest of the group is that the people in the group might start liking you. Let's say you, you hit on, you're talking to the less attractive friends, you're demonstrating value, now these girls are interested. Now maybe, you know, they, they cock block just because they wanted you. They don't want the hot girl who gets the guys every time, okay? Plus that hot girl could leave, she could be offended, she could think you're a jerk for, for saying all this shit, you know, this negative stuff to her, etc. It's just, it, it's, it's too, it's too like uh, contrived and roundabout. I think it's much more effective to just go straight in. And I'll roll a clip here showing how I approach our group of girls demonstrating with my girl in Brazil. Okay, so let's check that out. Here's how I would talk to my chick Okay, when I'm coming in and she's talking to someone, I would say, hey, I wanted to meet your friend real quick. Sorry to interrupt. Can I talk to you real quick? Hey, I wanted to meet you. What's your name? Oh. Now, if you have a wingman, okay, the wingman, you should meet my friend over here. Yo, bro, come over here. Here, this is my friend so-and-so. Okay, now the friend's out of the picture. Okay, if you're solo, here, I'll, I'll show you solo. Talk to the friend. I usually come in. Hey, I wanted to meet your friend. I usually, I usually address the friend. This is kind of a key point. I address the friend first because the friend is the one that's being interrupted. Okay, you're going to be t dealing with the quote-unquote target afterwards. So I'll say, hey, I wanted to meet your friend real quick. What's your name? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, I wanted to meet you. What's your name? Hi. So <laughs> blah, blah, blah. What are you guys doing here? All this and that. Oh, cool. Do you mind if I like, talk to her for a minute? Like, sorry to interrupt. I know it's rude. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, so blah, 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 and then the friend will just like stand there with her drink or whatever like this. But it's good if you have guys in your group. I usually advocate going out with some, at least one wingman, if not more, and then he can occupy the friends, okay? If it's a group, let's say you're talking to a group, okay? I'm gonna come in, there's a group here. Hey, what's up, I wanted to, I wanted to meet you guys, blah, 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 what are you all up to, blah, 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 blah. Now it asks like a logistics question. What are you guys all doing here? Like, what are you guys doing after this? What's your name, blah, blah, blah. And then they're just kind of all talking again. And then I would try to isolate within the first couple minutes. Okay, let's go over there. And this video isn't an isolation. Let's go over there. I would take her away from the group. I typically try, this is a key point, I typically try to only approach uh, groups of three or smaller. Okay, so one, two, three girls. Okay, I typically will have one or two guys out with me. And the reason for that is all it takes is one diehard cock block. Let's say she's in a group of six. I went over five of the girls, but one girl is like bitter. She's always seeing her pretty friends get hit on. All you need is one girl or more, okay? And the odds go up when it's greater than a group of three. Yeah. So you don't want to have that one girl fuck everything up and cock block, okay? Okay, so now you see that's how you should be approaching. And like I said, I only, I only acknowledge the friend and so much as to apologize for interrupting or to introduce myself to show that I'm normal and cool, etc. Got a nice little glare up here from the lighting. Anyways, that's pretty much the, the major differences and why I think mine is better. Um, you don't really wanna get much involved with the rest of the group, okay? You only wanna keep them at bay so that they won't cock block, okay? So you're just acknowledging them briefly. This is how I pulled countless times. It's not by ignoring the target, it's by talking to the target directly, okay? So I think he was wrong about that. His, his way can still work, but it's just not as effective, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have interest in learning my entire system from A to Z, jump on a free call with me, free 30 minute call. We'll go over how I can take you to an advanced level in eight weeks. It'll be a customized game plan for you specifically. Okay, and if you're not yet a subscriber, subscribe below for new videos every day. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss 
any videos. Okay, lots of good roasts coming, lots of good content coming. Stay tuned, 2021 is going to be an exciting year. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to watch Conor McGregor on UFC. Okay, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Uh, you kind of stirred the pot a little bit with the, uh, the, the piracy, the online streamers. They, they want to come after you and, and give this thing away. So, oh. any, reg any regret? No, no, kind of no, maybe no, stirred no, the pot no. a little bit? I'm glad you asked me about that because um, we got one. We got him. <laughs> Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum